man is a traveler, and travel is a keystone of his culture. Each stage of civilization has been marked by a new method of travel and faster means of transport. Now on the brink of a new age of space rocket travel, man's real problem is still on the ground. His failure to secure safety on the roads. New highways curve across the landscape as engineers try to make road travel swift and safe for the mounting volumes of traffic. The roundabout is one of the built-in safety features of the modern highway. It's an engineer's answer to the problem of sorting out streams of traffic with the least possible delay. But its success is not an engineering problem alone. As in all questions of road safety, the success of the roundabout is a matter of common sense and understanding by the individual driver. Give way to the right is a cardinal rule of the road. At a roundabout, it's expected to be used with a sense of courteous cooperation. For roundabouts are designed to bring several flows of traffic together, mix them, then separate them with a minimum delay. Road Safety Council and traffic engineers have a vital interest in making roundabouts work. In this case, the woman driver should have given way to the right, for the other car was well advanced into the roundabout. Had the woman driver been further ahead, however, she could have claimed the right to proceed. Her neighbor, even though on the right, would then have slowed to give her safe clearance. Traffic engineer Mr. George Russell explains that the roundabout was evolved from an ordinary intersection of two streets. At an intersection there are 12 possible directions of traffic movement. It's the conflicting directions of these streams that block the traffic flow and turn intersections into bottlenecks. The roundabout principle was a development from a simple intersection to allow the conflicting movements to merge into one circular movement around the central traffic islands. The ability of roundabouts to handle traffic more efficiently is largely the result of making right turning vehicles merge with opposing traffic. These merging movements, because of the nature of the roadways at roundabouts, can be made easily as the relative speeds of vehicles are less and the possibility of head-on or right-angled collisions is greatly reduced. One stream of traffic must interweave with another. Drivers taking too much advantage of their right-hand position may meet with unexpected results. If two streams of traffic cooperate with a sense of give and take, they weave together smoothly
The motorist's correct use of a roundabout begins well before he reaches it. Wisely, he brings his car firmly under control, slowing down while still 30 yards or more from the roundabout. He changes to a lower gear, ready to take advantage of the first opening in the roundabout traffic stream. The inattentive driver can quickly find himself in trouble. He approaches the roundabout too quickly and makes no preparations for the situation ahead. The opening he needs is there, but in selecting the wrong gear, the car stalls. So much talk about such a simple manoeuvre, but so often it's the simple errors in traffic that spell major trouble. An explanation of roundabout procedures and the common sense of the driver is all that's needed to bring the motorist safely through any roundabout problems. From being the luxury of the few, motoring is now the common habit of the multitude. It is probably the most popular mechanical skill in the world. But on the crowded roads, the mechanical skill is not enough. More important is good road behavior. This means skillful driving and an understanding of the traffic situations that commonly develop and a willingness to cooperate with every other road user. 